Hello all, my name is Rosalie Reitz and I am this year's program assistant for the Sustainable Energy and Environment Portfolio. When it comes to my personal media consumption, I work to be very purposeful about what I'm exposing myself to. I avoid books and shows that romanticize unethical behavior or promote values that I don't align with. But I still tend to have a pessimistic view of current events and our current realities. And if you felt that way too, you know how draining it can be. There are plenty of methods people use to break out of the negative narratives they may assume about our world. Journaling, volunteering, traveling, creating, and a lot more. And those are all so wonderful. But what works for me is science fiction. I found that science fiction brings so much more to the table than simply asking, oh, what would happen if we had robots? It asks, what if our culture placed higher emphasis on different values? And what if our society made different choices? Science fiction asks the reader to believe in transcendence, to believe that not only can our world be vastly different from the way it is now, but that we can be so much better than we are now. No matter my pessimistic tendencies, I'm drawn towards this type of hopeful narrative that exists in sci-fi. And that is perhaps what brought me to FCNL. At FCNL, we approach our work with active hope the faith that things will get better, no matter how bad it looks right now. What drew me to working with FCNL on environmental issues is true faith that we can transcend beyond our current circumstances to create a reality that is better for our posterity. The novel Dune by Frank Herbert deals with a population living on a desert-like planet where water is the scarcest resource of all. This population lives in an unbearably harsh environment with little hope of a better life in their immediate future. These kinds of circumstances can easily lead to frustration, despair, anger, and violence. Yet this population unified under the hope that someday they could terraform their planet to the point of having bodies of water or even rain. It would be a generations long process, but everyone on the planet works together toward that end to slowly but surely create the technology and the circumstances to make their dream a reality someday. In other words, they are being responsible stewards of their land to benefit not themselves, but their progeny. Frank Herbert writes this population to be so committed to this environmental goal that it becomes a core tenet of their religion and moral code. This aspect of Dune really resonated with me because stewardship is also a core tenet of my faith and values. Growing up, I was taught that if I have the knowledge of how my choices affect the world around me, it's my responsibility to make the morally correct decisions to benefit not just my current society, but also those that will come after me. So I'm feeling very blessed that I have the opportunity to advocate for exactly that with FCNL this year in a community of like-minded friends. Another meaningful science fiction work is the popular TV series, Star Trek, The Next Generation. This tale follows the crew of the starship, the USS Enterprise, as they explore the frontier of the universe. The crew all come from an interplanetary organization called the Federation that consists of many civilizations and societies all working together to share technology, resources, and culture. Wow. Being able to get over the divisiveness that affects our world today and transcend to a greater community that spans beyond our planet, that's so much greater than the global community we aspire to today. And all because Federation citizens are committed to overcoming prejudices and upholding the natural rights of all peoples. That sounds a lot like the world we seek. So it's no wonder that I've watched hundreds of hours of Star Trek although I am not necessarily proud to admit to that much time in front of the TV, it's unbelievably refreshing to consider a world unified beyond borders with a commitment to community that is deeply ingrained in their culture. And I'm so glad that I found an organization that is built on these same values of peace and community that are so important to me. Note that none of the science fiction examples I used are perfect. None of them portray a perfect world or even one free of violence, but there are always truths we can learn from the stories they tell. We are all capable of sacrificing some comfort 
for the good of future generations, a good that we today may never live to see. We are capable of listening to our friends and taking action to create a world of peace and di excuse me, dignity for ourselves and our neighbors. We know this. And I'm telling you that we have more than the capability. We have the will. And our imperfect world will unify someday under values of stewardship, peace, and community. Even if it doesn't happen in this lifetime, know that the next generation will be following your example to make it happen.